Welcome to episode 190 of the Dangerous Divas podcast, the number one podcast for women wanting to lose weight and learn how to keep track of gaining any unwanted weight. All right, so we're not going to do that. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to avoid overeating during the holidays and I really want to cover what to do and what not to do to prevent you from overeating during the upcoming holidays this weekend and next weekend. Also, if you haven't had a copy of it and you haven't received it, I just finished creating a Hacking the Holidays guide for you to know exactly what to do during the holidays. So if you want a copy absolutely free, drop me below this video and I'll drop it into your messenger or message me on my Instagram at Salome Abiger and I will literally send it to you to your DMs. So my gift to you for Christmas, all right? For those of you that are listening to me or watching me for the first time ever, welcome. I am so excited that you're here. And my name is Salome Abiger. Over the last three years, I have helped over 100 women lose 27 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called The Dangerous Divas. And in every single video, every podcast episode, I want to give you a quick weight loss tip that you can start implementing into your fitness journey right away. Because my entire goal here is to teach you all how to succeed forever. All right, so in the next five minutes, we're going to talk about what to do to avoid overeating during the holidays. Are you all ready? I'm going to get a quick sip of water. And we're going to get started. Number one thing you should not be doing is not, do not feel pressured to finish your entire plate or eat everything that is offered to you, okay? I know that during the holidays, you feel like you need to be eating everything and all that good stuff, but it is not true. It's okay to say no, and it's okay to leave food on your plate, okay? Know that, all right? That is the main things I and a bunch of people always feel guilty about, but if you're not hungry anymore and you're literally forcing yourself to eat, that's not okay and that's not healthy for your body. All right, so it's don't feel pressure to eat everything. Number two, huge thing. I feel like a lot of people try to restrict themselves the day of Christmas or the day of New Year's because they know they're gonna have a bigger dinner or things like that. But the number one thing you shouldn't be doing is skipping meals. So do not skip your meals, okay? Skipping meals is going to lead you to extreme hunger, which can make it way more difficult to avoid binging and overeating. So let's just avoid this cycle in general and not overeat because we're literally starving because we're restricting ourselves, right? Number three, you want to choose the healthy options. The entire week of Christmas and the entire week of New Year's, if you guys are planning on going out or having parties or things like that, you should know exactly what you are eating and choosing the healthier options. So try to eat plenty of fruits, plenty of vegetables, plenty of protein and whole grains. These type of foods will keep you feel satisfied and it will keep you full and fuel your body properly instead of eating pumpkin pie or not pumpkin, we're Christmas, apple pie or whatever else you guys eat, okay? Number four, water bottle. Emotional support water bottle. I'm telling you, this thing saves your life every time. You need to stay hydrated. This might be super obvious, but I feel like a lot of people feel miss out on this. Drinking plenty of water is not only going to keep you full and satisfied, it's going to keep you from overeating because you're going to be full. So it's going to prevent you from overeating. I want you to aim at least an eight ounce water um, glass of water per day. But I mean, can we be honest here? Like, let's go for like a half gallon to a gallon of water. All right. And is this number four or five? One, two, three. Number five, you want to stay active. You want to move around, okay? Exercising is going to not only boost your mood, but it's going to control your weight and it's going to keep you that overall health, right? So try to fit in some physical activity wherever you can, whether it's going out for a walk or hitting the gym or, you know, going ice skating with your kids or going to a park, whatever it is, try to fit it anywhere you can during the holiday season. It's going to keep your mood um, on the high end and make you happy and also your productivity levels, your energy and all that good stuff. So 
use all five of these tips that I just gave you to prevent you from gaining any unwanted weight and prevent you from overeating this holiday season. And I want you to tell me in the comments right now, which one are you going to be implementing? Which one did like stay, um, stay out? No, like speak out to you the most. And, um, which one that are you going to be doing the most? Because one of the biggest thing I feel like a lot of people do, it is because it, because it's the holidays, I can eat whatever and I can overeat, like not necessarily people, like let's still stay on track. Let's still, you know, not go all out and not go crazy and not throw our goals out the window. We want to make sure that we're still being um, normal and moderate. All right. So I appreciate you all episode 190 i'm so excited um next week i got some pretty cool stuff for you as well and for those of you that haven't had a chance to get your hands on the ho hacking the holiday guides that i am giving out for absolutely free all you have to do is drop me below this video or send me a message on my instagram and i'll drop it into your e your dm not your email because there is no email opt-ins there is no none of that stuff i literally just sent you a link so i appreciate you all i wish you all a very merry christmas happy hanukkah all the holidays of you know that you are guys are celebrating and um i hope you all have the best time ever enjoy the cold it's gonna get super cold here but you know once a year i'm not complaining so i love you all and i appreciate you all and i hope you all have the best holidays peace